Hey what's up, so I've actually already gone over how the anti-spark works in my how to build an electric skateboard video, so check that out if you haven't already seen it. But basically, the anti-spark connector prevents the sparking that occurs when you plug your batteries directly to your ESC or VISC. And in this vlog, I just want to go over some of the parts involved. So as you can see, this is my anti-spark connector. I'll quickly go over all the parts and then talk about them in more detail. You have the HXT 4mm to XT60 battery adapters. You have the XT60 series adapter. You have the XT60 series wire harness. You have the XT60 female to XT90 male adapter. And last but not least, you have the shorted XT90 female anti-spark connector. Now going from the top, the HXT 4mm to XT60 adapters are only used because my batteries have 4mm HXT connectors and my series connectors are for XT60 connectors only, so I need to convert them. The XT60 series adapter is then used to join the two batteries in series and in my case it takes two 3 cell batteries as inputs and outputs an effective 6 cell battery. Next up is the XT60 series wire harness. As you can see there are two male connectors and one female connector. There is also one red wire and two black wires. So what does all this mean? Well first of all the male connector with a red and black wire is typically used as an input and the female connector with a red and black wire is used as an output. So let's start by plugging in the batteries to the input and the ESC to the output. I don't actually have an ESC on me right now, so you'll have to bear with me and imagine this green cap is an ESC. Now the ESC won't actually turn on yet because you have this open here, and there are a few things you can do in this situation. One thing you could do is attach another battery, which would supplement the already connected battery and provide an increased voltage to the output, in which case this connector would be used as an input. Another thing you could do is attach a load in which case this connector would be used as an output. You could also just short the connector, in which case it would be like connecting the batteries directly to the ESC. Because of the ambiguity of this connection, it has two black wires. Now for the electric skateboard, this connector is actually used for the anti-spark, which takes advantage of the latter two options. So because it's an XT90 anti-spark connector, I also need this female XT60 to male XT90 adapter. And finally, the shorted female XT90 anti-spark connector to complete the loop. And that's it. Obviously this is just for two batteries, but you could easily adapt this for more. Some notable mentions. Basically, any connector used in my setup can be replaced by your connector of preference, so long as it has a sufficient current rating. This is obviously with the exception of the XT90 anti-spark. Now I have searched for an XT60 anti-spark, but wasn't able to find one, and hence the XT90. Although, I have read that some people have made their own custom anti-spark, so if you're interested in that, then there's always that as an option. In terms of the wire size, you want to use a wire that can handle the expected amount of current, and generally speaking, you want a thicker wire for more current. That being said, if the wire is too thick, it may be difficult to solder on to, for example, an XT60. So just keep that in mind. The anti-spark connector can also be connected either way. And by that I mean it can be connected as I've done here, or you could have the male connector shorted and the female connector as part of the adapter. It doesn't really make a difference. Now if you don't want to use an anti-spark, there are some cool adapters out there with a power switch that prevents the spark just as well. But the benefit of using an anti-spark is that it's a lot cheaper. Anyways, that's it for this video. See you later.